Welcome to Title Tuesdays. This is Mark for Mark's Minutes. And we're going to talk about permits. Everybody take some notes. So first of all, we're going to divide it into two parts. First, we're going to talk about investors and permit matters. Regardless of whether you're an investor, an end buyer, doesn't matter. Remember, permits are not covered by title insurance. Never have been and so far never will be. But why do we bring it up in a, a title topic? Because it comes up all the time. We want to make sure that you are informed and you work with us, so we have to take care of you with education. Permit matters are contractual. So please look at the contracts that you're using, regardless if you're an investor or if you're a retail uh, real estate agent, please look at the contract that you're using so that you can cover yourself or your buyer. In the contracts, especially on the new as is contract since April of 2017, it even brings up more of an issue about permits. And permits have always been for the last seven years in the as is Farbar contract has been the responsibility of the buyer during their inspection period. Now, for all of you agents out there that know um, how long it could take for a municipal lien search to bring back a permit matter, you know that sometimes it takes longer than how many days of your inspection period. If you leave it blank, it's 15 days. Most listing agents won't allow 15 days. They give you 10, they give you seven, they give you five. They may give you none, but it's still your responsibility. I know, I know what you're saying. Oh, but Mark, they're getting a loan. They have to pay for the appraisal. They have to pay for the inspection. Now they'd have to check out the permit matter. Well, if you're the great agent that I know you are, you're gonna prepare for that. How are you gonna prepare for that? One, you're going to perhaps, depending on the deal and who you're dealing with, maybe you'll put some addendum language into the contract that says seven days inspection for the home and perhaps up to 21 calendar days for municipal matters. That's one way to cover it. Another way that potentially will cover it is to put a disclaimer in or an addendum into the contract saying that seller will be responsible to resolve and close at any permit matters that may exist is another way to do it to perhaps avoid having to do it during your inspection period. But when you're taking your buyer out with all that you do, all of the items that they have to um, be ready for, whether it's cash or whether it's a loan, remember that permits are not covered by title, but permits could potentially give you a headache. So you want to be prepared. For our investors out there, our investors that do doubles, doing flips, wholesale deals, renovation deals, a lot of you are very seasoned with permits. So sometimes you'll buy a property knowing there's a permit matter because it's going to be attached to renovation that you may be doing. But again, our emphasis for this uh, video is so that you remember it is not covered under title insurance. It falls more under the category of contract and even more under the category of customer service and expectations. So because we always are looking out for you, this was a topic that's come up myriad times recently. Through the years it comes up and we wanted to clarify so that you can look in your contracts, you can be better prepared, you can be looking out for your buyers or for your end users if you're flipping, and you can be a rock star. Please don't forget to subscribe to title, Independence Title below. And if you have any questions, we're always here for you.